I hear the pump, but no, no water is coming out. Next, we blow bubbles. I just wanted to take a quick second to thank everybody for watching my videos. I also wanted to thank Technor Apex for sponsoring this video. You're probably wondering who the heck is Technor Apex. Let's see if this works. I just saw it on the packaging and I thought, hey, that's a pretty good idea. Let's, let's see if it actually works. There you go, 75 feet in a five gallon bucket. The Zero G Pro, they sent this to me a few months ago and said, can you please try it out? And if you like it, can you make a video for us? I've been using this hose for the last well, month, month and a half, and it's been working out pretty good. Now, everybody's got a garden hose. Uh, this one here is a little different. It's very compact. 75 feet is right here. One big thing that I like, it's drinking water safe. That means you can use it to fill up your RV or your boat. I've taken it with me to work. I've dragged it up on top of roof. Now, if you are in the market, for a new garden hose this summer, go check out this bright green one. You can get it at Lowe's, Ace Hardware. You can get it on the internet. I'll put a link in the description to their website. A lot different than your standard, standard garden hose. All right, back to the video. I think that might, might have been it. This thing on. It seems that freaking thing spins now. Press and hold. Yep. Well, if I can get this all put back together, I think this is a fix. Um, there was something jammed on that little propeller right there. And, and I just moved it and it kicked it out and we will see if it, if it works. I think it will.
All right, so I reinstalled the hose and we're gonna test it out. I'm not even putting the racks in yet because there is another issue with this dishwasher, that one. But we're not gonna mess with that unless this drains. I think, I think it's gonna drain. We gotta do, we gotta address a whole, whole bunch of stuff with this poor dishwasher. Um, we first wanna make sure it works. All right, let's do here. Power, quick wash. Get in here, look for leaks. I hear the pump going, the drain pump. So the next cycle just kicked in. It, it, the drain pump runs for 30 seconds or so. And now water is going into this thing. We're gonna make sure there's no leaks. This thing looks like it's been bouncing around quite a bit. It hasn't been secured in here. This thing here stinks. I need to... Well, it's going through its cycle. It's spraying out the top. There's hot water. I think I'm gonna hit cancel. Well, first, let me show you. All right, you see there's really hot water in the bottom. Well, it's okay. Um, there's a steam option in this, and it's not on. There's a lot of water in the bottom. We're gonna hit the cancel button and see if that goes away. draining. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's draining into that, from that tube down into its designated ABS drain. It has its own P-trap. Didn't find any water draining underneath there. I did notice that that foot is up on a a wooden laminate block but this foot isn't it has slid off so that's one of the things I'm gonna do uh, to get this stabilized is get that right side there up on a block okay uh, the power is turned off and would you look at that no no water in the bottom alrighty I'll put the rest of this back together kind of frustrating but these little brackets here have like ripped off so I'm gonna try to slide this thing forward just a little bit and get those clips the idea is just to get this come out a little bit so I can access the spring on this side I'll show you how that the, the string broke we'll get that tidied back up so this comes back up This is the broken string. It's interesting that they use a string in a dishwasher. This is what one that's not broken looks like, and this is the length. So what I've done, because it's 5 p.m. on a Saturday, there's my homemade one. I'm going to show you how it goes in. I am going to be ordering some new parts for this dishwasher. I'm going to order a new one of these, and I'm going to order a new filter, because I think there might be a hole in that filter in the bottom of the dishwasher that could be allowing food particles in. I installed the, the one that wasn't broke, but you can see how frayed right there the string is. So I'll be ordering two of these, and you're probably wondering, why, why put it back together, handyman? Well, I gotta get them up and running. Uh, like I said, it's five o'clock on a Saturday. Probably won't get these parts till Monday, so I'm getting them up and running. See there? won't go slamming it starts picking up the dishwasher and to be honest this will last for a while right there is a wear point that'll get eaten through so I'm not leaving it like this don't look at this as a permanent repair I think I'm gonna take the slack out I see a little bit of slack in there so I'll probably undo one of the knots and take some of the slack out Now 
Now because of how bad it smelled, I'm running a uh, cleaning cycle with soap and a steam option just to try to kill some of that nasty stinky bacteria that was in there.